It is Friday, February 10th. I'm Stephen Graves with your news to go. We know at least one person was shot at a major intersection in Palm Beach Gardens yesterday afternoon. But at this time, still no word on any suspect. Police say the shooting is connected to a crash in the area, shutting the intersection of North Lake Boulevard and Military Trail down for hours yesterday. There is also a school nearby. No students were hurt. A woman wanted for attempted murder in another Florida city is now in Martin County Jail. Deputies say Talia King has been hiding in a Palm Beach Palm City home since December. She will soon be taken back to Jacksonville to face charges. And the National Transportation Safety Board is sending a team to investigate the deadly crash between a Brightline train and an SUV in Delray Beach. Two people died Wednesday night near the intersection of Lindell Boulevard and Old Dixie Highway. Police say the SUV was on the tracks when that train hit it. Sandra. Alrighty, weather-wise, we're going to see daytime highs today in the low 80s with partly cloudy skies really looking good. We got high pressure in control. Tomorrow, we'll see a front move through, so a chance of showers late, but still in the lower to mid 80s. That's your news to go.